The recent surge in population and migration of people into Oweri, the state capital, has made it difficult for residents to get affordable houses. Private-owned houses have become more expensive for residents. For instance, a decent one-bedroom apartment goes for about 250,000 to 300,000 naira annually, while a two-bedroom apartment goes for between 350,000 to 450,000 naira annually. Most of the low-cost houses built by the previous administrations for civil servants and low-income earners have not been accessible. I really want to get one out of my for myself, but I don't know where to begin. I don't know. It's not effective, as I say. It. It's not effective. Maybe when they build it, they, they share it among their friends and colonies and brothers, and, but it, it hasn't got to the grassroots where a, a, a common man or a common emo man can access it. And I think government should come in and build more of estates, housing issues, so that people will, people, will enjoy, people will enjoy the scheme. Because the government should really concentrate more on that. The State Housing Corporation laments the neglect of the housing sector by the previous administration. Estates and sites have been sold without the due process and extant ones left with no management, no supervision, and no maintenance. And so we as a board have refused to be daunted by the grim realities of the situation, but have resolved to rise to the challenges of reviving the Emo Housing Corporation from its comatose state. In response to this challenge, the Emo State government, in partnership with development partners, plan to construct at least 1,000 housing units in the state capital. In the next, um, in less than uh, uh, one month, now, we're talking about 100 days in office of the governor. That's a couple of days, 30, less than 30 days. So within that period, we want to do a grand bronchial ceremony to actually kickstart um, the housing development programs, but targeted at low, com, you know, low income earners, this mass housing scheme. We're also going to do other housing schemes for both medium and high income, but we are not in a hurry. We are packaging the requirements for developers to come. If the state government can match wars with actions, hopefully the problem of affordable and decent housing in Imo State will be addressed. Eyi Tokwekutei, Channels Television News.